$8,500 is invested in an account for five years. Find the value of the investment at the end of five years and the total interest earned. For part A, we have 4% simple interest per year. Then for parts B, C, and D, we have compounded interest, compounded annually, quarterly, and monthly. The simple interest formulas are shown here, where A, the amount after time T, is equal to P sub zero, the initial investment, times the quantity one plus R times T, where R is the interest rate expressed as a decimal, and T is the time in years. And then the interest earned, I, is equal to P sub zero, the initial investment, times R times T. So A, the amount after five years, for 4% simple interest per year, is equal to 8,500 times the quantity one plus R. R is 4% as a decimal, which is 0 0.04 times T, which is the time in years, which is five. And let's also write out the expression for the total interest earned over the five years for simple interest. We have I is equal to P sub zero, which is 8,500 times R, which is 0 0.04 times t, which is time, in years, which is five. And now we go to the calculator. The account balance after five years is $10,200, and the total interest earned is $1,700. For simple interest, the amount of interest earned each year is the same. It remains 4% of the initial investment of $8,500. Notice how if we take $8,500 and we have the interest of $1,700, we do get the ending balance of $10,200. And now for parts B, C, and D, we have compounded interest, which means interest is paid each compounding period and the interest is based upon the current balance of the account. So as the account balance grows, the amount of interest earned also grows. For compound interest, we use the formulas shown here. Where for compound interest, the ending account balance A is equal to P sub zero, the initial investment times the quantity one plus R divided by N, raised to the power of N times T, where R is the interest rate expressed as a decimal, N is the number of compounds per year, and T is the time in years. For compound interest, to find the total interest earned I, we have to first find the ending balance and then subtract P sub zero, the initial investment. So for part B, because we have 4% interest compounded annually, the number of compounds per year is one, and therefore N is one. So the account balance after five years for 4% interest compounded annually is equal to $8,500 times the quantity one plus R divided by N. R is 4% as a decimal, which is 0 0.04, divided by N, which is one, and this sum is raised to the power of N times T. N is one, and T is the time in years, which is five. And now we'll go back to the calculator. For this quotient here, we can leave off the denominator of one. So in parentheses, we have one plus 0 0.04. Close parenthesis, this is raised to the power of one times five or five. This is the exponent key, five, and then enter. And we always round to the nearest cent because we have a nine in the third decimal place to round up to $10,341.55. which means the total interest earned over the five years is equal to the ending account balance of $10,341.55 minus the initial investment of $8,500. Because the previous calculation is the ending balance, we can just press minus 8,500. Notice how this gives us the previous answer minus 8,500, which is $1,841 and 55 cents. Once again, notice how if we take the initial investment of $8,500 and add the total interest, we do get the ending balance after five years. And now for part C, the only difference is the interest is compounded quarterly 
because there are four quarters per year, n is four. So the account bounce after five years is equal to $8,500 times the quantity one plus 0 0.04, but now n is four, so we divide by four, and the sum is raised to the power of n times t, which is now four times five. And now we go back to the calculator. Notice now the exponent is four times five or 20. We can enter four times five or just 20. This time we'll enter four times five. Enter. To the nearest cent, we have $10,371.62. Which means the total interest earned over the five years is $10,371.62 minus $8,500, which is $1,871.62. And for part D, the interest is compounded monthly. There are 12 months in a year, and therefore N is equal to 12. So the account bounce after five years is equal to $8,500 times the quantity one plus 0 0.04 divided by 12. And the sum is raised to the power of n times t, which is now 12 times five. Notice now the exponent is 12 times five or 60. The account balance after five years with 4% interest compounded monthly is $10,378.47. And therefore the total interest earned is equal to $10,378.47. The initial investment of $8,500, which is equal to $1,878.47. Before we go for compound interest, as the number of compounding periods per year increase, so should the amount of interest earned and notice for parts B, C, and D, the amount of interest earned does increase. I hope you found this helpful.